This cube right here is the Moyu Aosu WRM 4x4. Upon its release back in August 2019, it was a very well received cube and Max Park immediately switched to it and got a world record. As of today, this cube holds both the 4x4 world records by Max Park. However, with the release of newer cubes such as the YJ MGC 4x4 and the X-Man Ambition and seeing people like Felix Zemdek switch away from the WRM, how well does it hold up? Hey guys, it's me Ram here and in today's video, I'm going to be telling you guys why I currently main the WRM over any other 4x4 and why I still believe it is the best 4x4 speed cube on the market today. For starters, the Aosu WRM can be bought at Speed Cube Shop for $42.95. This is more on the expensive side when you compare it to other 4x4s like the MGC. However, in my opinion, it is worth it. Also, you can get 5% off your order if you use the discount code RAM or JPERM at checkout. It measures in at 59mm across and its mass is 119 grams and it can be bought in black and stickerless plastic. The cube I have here is the stickerless version and the shades are nice and vibrant and contrast quite nicely. The turning on the Aosu WRM can be described as really fast, stable and crunchy. It has a defined crisp to each turn. Here you can listen for yourself. The speed of this cube is about the same as the YJ MGC 4x4 and definitely faster than its predecessor, the Aosu GTS 2M. I feel like the WRM combines the best of both of these cubes, wherein its speed is nice and fast like the MGC, but it has the amazing and reliable nature of the GTS 2M. For me, the GTS 2 speed just didn't cut it, but I really liked its stability and fluidity. The MGC speed was decent, but for some reason, I kept getting pops on it. The WRM has the good qualities of both the cubes and it overall gives us the best of both worlds. For setup, what I did was get a Unicube version of this puzzle set up with Vortex on the core and Lunar and Stardust on the pieces. This worked decently, but I added a few drops of Martian on top and loosened the tensions and that did the trick. The cube became a lot better. Now the one drawback of this puzzle is its corner cutting. While it is not bad at all, it can go up to this much forward and this much reverse. It is not as good as the GTS 2M, which can go further as you guys can see right here. However, it is better than the MGC 4x4 and unlike on the MGC, my turning flows relatively well on it. I only get minor catches on the WRM. Despite my fairly loose tensions, I've only gotten a few pops on this cube when I have turned extremely roughly and I haven't gotten a single one during speed solving which is pretty great in my opinion. Now before I give you guys my final thoughts on this cube, I'm gonna pass it off to JPerm who currently mains the WRM. He really needs no introduction and is pretty good at 4x4, so let's hear what he has to say about this cube. Hey everyone, it's Dylan, or JPerm. The Aosu WRM, or Worm, is my main 4x4 mainly because of its size. I would actually give the title of best 4x4 to the mini YJ 4x4 and the YJ MGC and the Worm. All of these cubes turn effortlessly fast and have great control. For me, the next best is the Magnetic Melong and any other 4x4 like the Valk or the Ambition. Those are good, but I find that they don't control quite as well. I don't think the worm is groundbreakingly good, I just think that everything about it, its speed, control, corner cutting, magnet strength, they all work really well together. And because of that, I don't make a lot of mistakes. You do not need to turn super fast to be good at 4x4, so I find that as long as everything works well together, then you have a great cube. I don't have super large hands, so I think 59mm is in the perfect size range for me. It could go even smaller, which is why I'm fine with a mini 4x4. For, but the mini YJ cube is so small that it throws me off when switching to other cubes and any bigger than 59 millimeters and I will start to make slightly more mistakes or not be able to turn quite as fast during 3x3 stage. And that's why my main is still the Aosu WRM. Thank you so much to JPM for joining me on and sharing his thoughts on this cube. Now let me give you guys my final thoughts on this cube. Overall, I truly believe that it is the best 4x4 on the market and if you are looking for the absolute best speed cube, go for this one. According to me, this cube's reliability is truly unmatched. However, I know that people are not able to spend this much on a 4x4 and I totally respect that. So for the much better price of 1995 less if you use code RAM or JPM, there is the MGC 4x4. I think that value aside, this puzzle is only a little bit worse for me in terms of performance and ultimately, hardware is so good nowadays that it does come down to personal preference. Therefore, if you are unable to spend a lot on a 4x4, the MGC is a great option. Finally, if you want something even cheaper, I've heard the Yusu V2M and the Melong M4x4 are quite good, however, I haven't really tried them extensively. So that's pretty much it for my thoughts on the Aosu WRM 4x4 and why I still think it is the best 4x4 out there. Thank you to Speed Cube Shop as always for sending me this cube to test and thanks a lot for watching this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed and goodbye.